This CoreCon training video explores CoreCon's project directories and the relationship to CoreCon's TeamLink portal. The project directory is a list of companies from the contact management module that are involved on a project. The benefit of having a directory is to save time when referencing a company and contact within a form by having a short list rather than hundreds, if not thousands, of companies as options. Typical companies that will be added to a project directory are companies that you collaborate with on a project, such as your customer, project owner, or client, your firm, architects, engineers, consulting firms, construction management firms, subcontractors, suppliers, and vendors. It's important to note that both leads and projects have a project directory, which are independent of one another. However, the directory from leads will be copied to the projects when using the lead to project wizard. Before you begin this process, make sure that all companies involved on the project are entered in the contact management module. Each company added should also have at least one contact with an email address. From the projects module, I've already selected a project. And if you go to the project team tab under project directory, you have the option to specify contacts for project and an option to show only specified contacts on the add edit forms. Because I use the project setup wizard, I've already listed my company or what will be your company and my client, customer, or project owner. I want to add a few other companies that'll be collaborating with us on this particular project. So we'll go to actions. We have quite a few ways to add these. We could select companies by company type, whether companies are on the bidders list or add companies directly from contact management module. We're going to need a supplier, an architect. We'll select another supplier and a subcontractor and click add. I can add new companies to contact management and to this project directory on the fly. I can copy companies that we collaborated with from the project directory of other projects and I'm going to click cancel. Back to project team tab. There are also ways to add companies to the project directory as you're working through other modules. For example, if I go back to the quick links and go to contact management, you'll see the project directory is referenced at the top of that module landing page. If I go back to the project home again, go down to procurement and go to POs. I can also add a new company to the project directory before I enter a PO. Back to the project directory. Next, we'll assign a team link role. The default team link roles are defined in a help article by going to the help down to team link portal to authentication method number two and review default team link security roles in settings. The primary three team link security roles that are already set up for you are under the label owner, architect, or vendor. The label for owner can also mean client, customer, or project owner. An architect default security role is best applied to architects, engineers, construction management firms, and a vendor security role best for vendors, suppliers, and subcontractors. These team link roles can also be customized to suit your other needs. And there's a separate training video and help articles to cover that subject. Back to our project. a, &A Building Supply is a supplier, so we're going to give them a security role vendor. BMG Architects is an engineer, architect, or construction management firm, so we'll assign them a security role labeled architect. Your company will not need one. Your company and your users will not be able to use the Team Link portal. I'm also going to drop down to the Pinnacle Specialties, which is a supplier or vendor. And Stick of Concrete is a subcontractor or vendor. Again, the Team Link role labels are very generic. And we do recommend that at least you start out with using the default security roles provided. Once that's been assigned, we're going to go to Actions. And we're going to send the Team Link invitation. Since each contact is going to receive their own email with the invitation, 
they will not be able to see the other companies and contacts that the team link invite was sent to. So we'll go ahead and select all recipients, all security roles. A contact within a collaborating company on the project directory should have an email address. I'm going to select these three. They already have email addresses assigned to them, but you could send the team link invite to everyone on the list because they don't see who else you're sending it to. If you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see a preview of what the email will look like. Their contact name and the company name will be filled in and the information on how to log into the team link portal will be added. A link as well as the username and password will be sent to the contact being invited to the team link portal and let them know that they have been added to the project directory and that a new project has been added to their login. If you have previously sent them their login information from within contact management module, the password will be shown as listed previously. If they've never logged into the team link portal, Corcoran is going to provide them the username and a temporary password. So when they log in, they can change that temporary password to a permanent password. From the team link portal, they will be able to see all projects that you've assigned to their login. We also recommend that you not select the reset password in case passwords have been assigned or reset by the team link portal user. And when you're ready, just click send email. Corcon recommends that you do use the team link portal and send out your team link portal login information through the project directory. This portal will greatly reduce the phone calls and emails from outside team members by giving them access to project details on a needed basis. In addition, customers will feel at ease that communication tools are in place to reduce delays and improve project execution. Back to the project homepage and back to the project team. There's also a log style report that you can print showing the companies and contacts added to the team link portal. If you go to reports, there are at least four log style reports provided. I'm going to view the project directory company listing grouped by team link role, but other log style reports are available. If you'd like to know more about the information presented in this training video, we encourage you to go to the help articles under Corcon browser solution, go to leads and projects and to project directory. The information contained in this training video, as well as additional information you'll find helpful can be found in this article and the additional detailed articles included.